Yeah. All right, Stephen, what is this garbage? All right, well, uh, this is a 1993 uh, Ford Escort. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have the upgraded wing. That was part of the uh, LX. That's part of the LX package. Um, we open up the truck. Wait, what was that? When you open up the truck, oh. you can see that uh, it's in the process of. Uh, that gets pushed down with the downforce. Anyways, uh, things are sometimes able to fall out of the trunk with this bumper the way it is. There's a, a pretty good space right there. I think that one's for aerodynamics. Uh, come around to the back side here, the front side here, uh, you got your uh, antenna. Well, there's that. You got your antenna, which is manually adjustable. So you can see, you know, make sure you're getting all your channels correctly. Uh, this used to used to be a what, what would just slide like this. It was pretty pesky and annoying, so we did the slide motor delete. That doesn't do that anymore. I, d I left it stock on the uh, passenger side, uh, like kind of like how you get a bucket seat just for the the driver's seat, you know. And so there's that. You get in the car. that got your lap belt too two separate belts uh, it's for performance uh, there's a safety feature also yeah uh, cupcake lemon drop that's an added badge this I don't think is attached to anything to make sure that it doesn't ever deploy uh, for your unsafety full stereo actually I'm not even lying this thing kind of bumps uh, and yeah AC blows cold runs like a champ all the things you need uh, there's a safety feature though and if you want to come, come in here real quick I'm gonna take us deep in here this right on the key I don't know if it'll do it this time but sometimes if you're lucky yep yep mm. yeah that's off there we go it got uh got out you only got a couple things left here. You got a front bumper, took a couple parts out uh, for weight reduction. Yeah, that one also you can see pretty far down. Yeah, past the, past the hand test. You wanna get in the back seat also, you can see a couple of features. Uh, as you can see, depending on how tall you are or how much hair you have on top of your head, this little guy right here is uh, kind of a little scalp tickler. Yeah, uh, the headliner, not in great condition, but at the same time, you know, you still got windows that work, kind of. Your handles are taken off also for weight reduction, but watch this too. I can still close the door with that, with only minorly hurting my hands from the plastic. Oh, yeah, we didn't cover this. This mount. Very interesting, actually. That is uh, that is for your axe. Anyways, um, also got this as protection. Oh no, uh, yeah, it's a pen for your protection. You keep it right here, kind of like how people have a sidearm. Yeah, that's a spoon for uh, when you need to eat things, but you're on the go because. This, I'd say what this car is, what this car is best for is the on the go businessman. It's like, I call it my traveling office. You know, I could be here, I could be here. It looks like you could also be right up here. What are the footprints on the hood? I'm sorry, what? I know this car like the back of my hand, but. Are you crawling around up on the hood right here? Well, that's for, so if you take a look at, you do a little bit of a Sherlock Holmes thing. You get up here where where those footprints are from and also surprisingly also here and here there's also 
one right here. Right here. That's it. Just <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, well, guys. That's pretty much it for this car. There's a lot to cover. We could really go over it for a lot more. You know what? While we're at it, let me pop the hood. What's that? That's a backup camera? Yeah, it's a backup. Sick. Stick is over here. Yeah, you know. It's got the old interstate in there. Got an interstate battery. Uh, I've got the upgraded uh, throttle spring here. Upgraded throttle spring. Yeah, we took off some of the edges of this. Also, you can see. Also for weight reduction. Uh, this is a one point nine liter at 1.9 yeah we also uh i opted for the when i was having them restore this i opted for the thinner radiator uh it does not even it's not even two fingers um because this one's performance and it's a lot lighter it does the job well. um some stuff looks like it's cracked but usually that's purposeful I'm not gonna lie it's not a It's not a 10 out of 10, but um, I'd say a solid eight and a half out of 10, you know? Uh, well, that's pretty much it for it, guys. Uh, you know, you've got your average wear and tear. Some things are definitely broken. Well, I'd say loved, well-loved car. It closed first try. Closes first try. Closes first try. That's pretty much it. Uh, this has been another episode of Clean Installs. Oh, I don't want to break that. So I forgot one of these parts. One of these parts in here. See that one? Slides right up. Um, let me just. Basically, when you're driving, anywhere from about here to about here is all straight. So you have a, a lot of. You got a lot, a lot of room for error in there on the, so I could be driving, it's dummy proof, is what I'm trying to say, you know. I could drive in, I don't know if I'm trying to do this, I don't know if I'm trying to do this, I'm going straight either way, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me just back up here, see if I can show you a little bit of power. show to show it. This has been clean installs.